all about here in 2020. Cooper wants to toss it. A reaching grab by Trey Barry, the tight end. Botched all over the field. First couple games for the Noles this season. Second and two. Gamecocks get the first down near the 40-yard line. And with the tackle, but he fought. He fought his receiver to keep that edge right there. His buddies made the play. Nice stop for the Noles. Helton, the deep man on the punts. Here he is five. He is spun down. They'll put the forward progress at the six. This is such a big part of this game. Coach Ross said we cannot give up explosive plays, especially on special teams. Well, if you're covering like that, like the automaker, the quarterback for the ball of the state. Sends it out. Near the 10 and wrestled down. That was Terry. And you watch college football right now. It's fun to watch. And 87 is as good as they get. Very tough guy. And Zach Woodard will make just about every tackle out of there, it seems. This is Corbin. They'll bring up third down now as Jeremiah Harris. He's going to roll that pocket to his left. Throw on the run. It's intercepted, and it's in the end zone. Colby Fuquay. You just mentioned his name, James. He intercepts the freshman quarterback and takes it into the end zone for the Gamecocks. Do the same thing right here, just out there in the flat. Rodemaker doesn't see him, throws it right to him, and it's an easy six for the game cuts. Fort quarterback after James Blackman started last week, going for 120 yards. Pressure on Rodemaker, and they lose a lot of yardage on that play. He got sacked. Back past the 40. That, that, that internal clock, and, and sometimes it just takes it takes reps at this level and the speed that's at this level. And yeah, he played some ready to roll with his team, but here in the first quarter, unable to harvest the points off that previous drive of the missed field goal. And now back to the air for Cooper, shoulder down beyond perhaps for a team that only has one on the season. Cooper throws it near the 45 of Florida State, and that's complete. Catch made by too hard and low, but that one was perfect right in the numbers. Where only Russell could get it and change move again. Passes again, and that's complete. Trey Barry. Emil whistles for the infraction. Ball to 20. Around the edge of the run by Samuel towards the goal line. And in for the touchdown for Jacksonville State. Josh Samuel on the carry to the end zone. Show it to you right here. So here we go. They're looking at it in the booth, and we will too. There's the misdirection, and there's Samuel at the gate. Look at the blocking there, and look, presence of mind to let go, make sure you don't hang on. And there's a shot, but it's a little too late. In for the extra point. Wow, James. A nice little drive and go answer. Held to the return man. Meets it at the two. Stopped at the 15-yard line. Helton on the return of 13 yards. Great team can run this show and, and run it smoothly. On second and seven, Rodemaker has to improvise, and there's nowhere to go. And he's sacked down by the six-yard line. Most football, high school football programs in the nation. Pass complete near the 10-yard line. Junior quarterback. And second and seven for Zarek Cooper. Webb wants to toss it and does near the 30-yard line. Hits his man. That was Ed Matthews, the junior. You know, they're trying to get outside here, and it's tough to, to outrun. 2013 at Georgia State. That also in overtime. Cooper away from the pressure. Deep throw down by the 15 and caught. Logan McVeigh, number 86, fighting with the... Wow, and not a bad job of coverage there by Fagan, Cyrus Fagan, buying time, rolling out, and then just showing you the arm strength. What a great job by McVeigh to just concentrate as he's falling backwards to tuck that one in. And we've seen some, some balls that have been beautifully... See if they can do it on back-to-back -back plays. Second and goal. 
Looked like Cooper trying to follow the block of Weston. The ball come out. Florida State comes away with the football. And one of the officials is signaling touchdown. Touchdown. It is. You just heard the announcement. Jordan Travis getting held at the goal line. In the series, 65 meetings with the Hurricanes. And that one stopped cold near the 45-yard line. And healthy, played a few snaps against Miami, but looked to be pretty much a smoke screen as he was injured. Nice play out near the 35-yard line. Could be a first down for the Gamecocks. You know, down four now. And just one for four on third down in the game for Cooper. He hits West on the run down the sideline near the 30-yard line and shoved out of bounds by Lars Woodby. And the downs driving in Seminole territory. 28-yard chunk play. They'll try the other side and a stretching grab from Jared Scott. State defense. Here's a hard angle for a kicker. First chance for Karadzic this season, 21 yards away. The snap was not perfect. The kick was excellent. 142 yards. Has not thrown a touchdown pass. A little bit behind the receiver, but caught at the 35 as we go down to Lindsay. Thanks, Tom. Zarek Cooper has looked extremely accurate and precise. Here he is again. A nice little touch pass and some good blocking outside has been very active, as has been Toafili and Corbin. And oh, oh, wow. Oh, dodging a bullet, Florida State, almost. This ah. last year, so. Cooper trying to get something rolling. And they'll do it on that yeah. play up the. Just two of eight on third down. Cooper flush from that pocket, slides past the 40. Has had a big day, tough guy. Fun to watch him compete here in Go Campbell Stadium. Looks like Russell again. They gave it to you, but now you got to have that foot off the field when that ball snapped. And so that's the new rule, and that's the flag there. Cooper's pass complete. Trade Barry. It's going to take three and four. Garnet, sure. 